DJ back in the building yet again. And uh, we done had the 1X player for some time now, too. There's a few accessories for it that we got it. We sort of kind of got to integrate for the 1X player, too. Without further ado, everybody already knows we got to run through some basics. The 1X player, too, has detachable controllers, so that makes these accessories. You've already seen a bunch of times, but still got to let you guys know. I still had to... Still had to show you. <laughs> Secondly, it comes with a screen protector already on it. So, I mean, that's an accessory in itself. And you could get a glass screen protector. I lean, I kind of lean towards the matte ones. So I'm waiting to get my matte one in. And then I'm going to put that one on here. I like the matte ones for the glare since it's handheld. That's on me. And then another one. You got the case that it comes with. All right, now let's now let's get now we can actually get started. The case in front of me is the official One X Player Two case. The One X Player case, the OG case, does not fit this one. All right, now we can move we can move on from that. This case, it's a little more sturdy. They're using a little bit more sturdier cardboard or thicker cardboard inside. I mean, it's still squishy. But it's nice and thin. All right, let's pop the top. Well, now we got the one next player too. More on that a little later. You got the flap. I'm pretty sure I already went over this, but we're gonna do it anyway. It's a little thin, a little piece of whatever. It's a little flimsy, but this one's a little more sturdy. And that's a lot harder. So it protects it a lot well. This is the one I have been using one so far, but we got all those. We got other cases. And that's the original one. All right, what's next? Um, You got an SD card slot. I don't know if I, ever, I have said this yet, but an SD card, this mine's is one terabyte. All right. I mean, we're just trying to get past it. And another one, since this is a handheld device, you're gonna need a battery charger. And all of this is, you use whatever you wanna use. I am just letting it be known. Better, you have a battery charger. This is the Anchor 140 watt. You push the button, you get a readout, and then you plug something in. Hold on, let me grab something. All right, this is not the right cable, but you plug something in like I'm plugging in right into the One X Player 2. You get a, a readout of how many watts is pushing out. Right now, it's, it's going to go up as it's reading it. I don't know if y'all can see that, but oh well. And how much battery it has. This This cable is probably like a phone cable, so this is... But it works really well for it, but... This one, I mean, it will charge while you plan it, but it drains really fast charging something up at 65 watts. But it is an accessory and it is the one I use. All right, let's keep it moving. This is the year of the fighting games. You got Dragon Ball Z, Tenkaiji coming out, DBZ Fighters 2, uh, Street Fighter 6 coming out, Tekken 8 coming out. Mortal Kombat 12, you got you got a bunch of fighting games coming out. So, for everybody that likes to use fight your fight pads, I know you've seen this one before when I first got the One X Player, but I still got it and it works, and it works pretty well on it. It's nice and tiny. Clicky, and it, and it actually does work. Uh, it works with a cord, so it works with the cord, so you really don't get no latency, latency with it plugged in because it's not over Bluetooth. And it works pretty well on it. Fight board. Okay, all right, all right. And yes, you can use your Bluetooth controllers. Your favorite controller with this ad hooked up over Bluetooth. I've used them. I really haven't got any really latency issues. But I'm gonna turn them on, connect them to the 
One X player just to show you. Oh, all right, and we are using our Xbox One S controller, whatever. It is, it has a cord on it, but it's plugged up to my battery pack right now because um, as you know, Xbox, we have no batteries. And this is the one I use for my PC, so it's always plugged in anyway, so I don't normally use batteries for it. But this is the one that's working, well, that I have right now plugged up to this now let's see the latency oh and yes um to put to get this in controller one you have to take off the you have to take these off i mean it'll still work with it on there if you want to play two players <laughs> but <laughs> i mean i know it's a way around it to put this first but big screen mode but we're not here for that right now so i just took that off just just, just to let you know, just to let you know, uh, just to see the latency with the Xbox controller, we're just gonna use Street Fighter as a reference, cause why not? All right. Oh, oh, now it's, mm, there it is does that sometimes without the batteries in there. But, I mean, the latency don't seem too bad. Oh, come out. Okay. It does it. I mean, it's it seems a lot on camera. It seems a lot lagger than it normally is, but it's doesn't feel that bad. But take that with whatever you want. And I'm trying to play it on the on the. Oh, the camera screen, so... <laughs> but, yeah, from here... It doesn't feel bad at all. All right, now we're going to plug in the one I have been using, the PS5 controller. And then we're going to do the same thing. But I guess this, this is an accessories video. I will give you guys another accessory which really doesn't correlate to the One X player, but since I'm gonna use my PlayStation, this particular PlayStation 5 controller on this one, I went to those uh, those people at Extreme Rate that to uh, turn my regular old, um, PlayStation 5 controller into to that one. Yep. And this is the one I've actually been using with it because I don't have to put batteries in it. I can recharge it with my rechargeable battery bank if I'm on the, if I'm on the go. All right. And since it's already Bluetooth, it, it's connected. All right. Uh, let's do it. I... I just, I, I'm getting really next to no no lag. Not as much as I was with the one the Xbox controller, but that's that could be a lot of things for that with it plugged in and stuff. I had the batteries, it'd probably be a little different, but this it is uh And but we're gonna we're gonna move it along. But um, I'm really getting no, not too much lag. It's barely noticeable when you're playing it. And this is the one I, I normally use. And then I, I just extreme rated it. It's a bunch of 
colors or whatnot, I, this is what I pick. And since I have three PlayStation 5 controllers, it was a no-brainer just to use that one. This is the one I'm using on the PS5. <laughs> you already know, all black. <laughs> but I decided to go wild with this one. And, I, and this is just an extra one, you know, just in case somebody wants to come over and pop off, you know. <laughs> but I, I'm sure you could use uh, your Switch controller, all black. But I just haven't used it on mine yet. I haven't Bluetoothed it to this one. Maybe I should, but I'm, I'm sure it'll probably be the same. The lag will probably be just as good as this, if not better. Now we can move on. I'm so sorry we, we stayed here for so long. All right. Now we can get into some cases and, you know, and I can give you guys a little Easter egg to help me out with a little research yourselves. All right, let me back the camera up because this first one is huge. All right, and the first case, it still don't fit in frame. <laughs> this one is ginormous. The first one is from Magnetic or Magnetic. I'm gonna try to get this whole thing in the frame for you guys. All right, you got, this is, this is big. Giggity. I want to give you guys a comparison. So uh, this is the one X. This is the one X player too. It takes at least two of these side by side, and then the depth or the thickness of it is that thick. Ah, can't get it all on frame. I'm so I will probably give you guys some B roll of this thing, just so y'all would know. But when you open it up, focus, there we go. You got this little pocket. It's not that deep, it's pretty flat, maybe for your keyboard or whatnot. And the little tiny accessories in here. And then you got these doors. <laughs> On this side, you got a slide for the controller, PlayStation 5, or Xbox or Nintendo Switch Pro. And I'm pretty sure a bunch more that I don't got next to me right now. And then you got this whole this whole open slot for stuff like a battery pack. Your little, your little, little fight stick. And and full size fight sticks works with it too. You plug it in at the top, perfectly fine. I was gonna pull it out, but yeah, you, this'll work fine. And I got the um, the snack box micro coming in, and I wanna use that one to see if it'll work with it. And you can fit your, your case, or your case, your charger right there, or you can probably put it in the front, but that's on you. That's on you. This is like that. Uh, this is a big case, and now you can now you see and why. And on this side, you got a spot for your One X player too. But this is not a One X two player case. It's a Steam Deck case. So the thing you might run into is it it'll fit, but it's tight but it's tight, it'll push it in. So what I have done, what I have done, this case was only 30, 37 bucks. I dropped the bottom out of it. I cut cut the side out. So I kept the Velcro up top, didn't mess with it because it came with it and I didn't want to mess that up. So I just cut the side out and now it fits in there like a glove. Perfect, not too tight, not too soft, not too tight, giggity. Just get, put, getting it out from this side is kind of bad. But all I got to do is like put a, a tab on this side. Because that's how I put it in. Put a tab back here on this side and pull it up. It'll, it'll come out nicer on that side than it will this side. 
but that does fit and it does close. The only thing about this is it's big. It's not going to fit in a traditional backpack. And it does come with a strap. And it does come with a strap for your, your little strap-ons. And then you can ride around with it. It does have a handle. So you know you can use it as a briefcase. <laughs> but I'm not mad at you. 35 bucks and you can carry all that plus extras. This is a, a, a huge win. It's just way too big for your day-to-day -day use. All right. Now what what we going to use what we got next? All right. Next, I have a sleeper for you guys, man. And this is where I'm going to bring an Easter egg into play. <laughs> Everybody out there that got a 2X player, go go get some of your old cases, your old Switch cases. Steam Deck cases if you got those and try the one X player two and all of them and see where it fits because I have a water fill case for the switch. I know, unlikely, right? But since since that this detaches from there, it actually fits. Not conventionally, but it does fit. I mean, you can't you can't put it up here because it sticks out. But you can put it behind it. And it fits. But it's not all. You still got the back. Where? Bam, you, you can fit your controllers. And You got your charger? Bam! Like I say, unconventional, but everybody go try this stuff. Leave a comment below what it actually fit in. Bam! The Waterfield case for the Switch. Who knew, right? <laughs> I was just playing around with some stuff, and there you have it little tiny case this case is like 150 bucks though but classy elegant protection all the way around but it does that's basically all you're gonna get in there you're not gonna get an extra controller hey unless unless you want to take this out and then pop a controller in there without putting it in there then you can but I, I don't know but these work perfectly fine in this slide. I didn't. I just didn't want to close it up again. But yeah, for real. All right, all right, all right. I got one more case for you guys. I got <laughs> one more case for you guys, and then we can call it a day. But. For real, Easter egg for you guys. Go try all your cases that you got. Locked away, tucked away, and see if it fits in there. Because maybe you don't need to buy one, maybe. You got one laying around. All right, last but not least is the Tom Talk Steam Deck case. The big boy on the list worth 50 bucks. The most expensive accessory that we have besides the controller, you know? All righty, and then we got this slot over here. Where you put your your the one X player two right there. The thumb grips, the thumb sticks, the buttons are all protected with this big gap. I don't know if you needed it that big, but they might drop a new Pokemon in the battle raids. It would be great if I had to switch with me. You know what? Did I mention they have zipper pocket right here that you know will fit a freaking steam or a steam a nintendo switch like like you could take a switch with you in there too did you know that hmm. you know what i really didn't but let's pop up some control in here 
and we could pop a control in there. Whoa. But I mean, I'm just doing this with dramatic effect. They got plenty of spaces, plenty of things to do. Uh huh. You can even put your cable here, because that gap is kind of huge. So you can put that there, maybe to save some space. And then your charger right next to the controller, just like that there. Oh man, this thing ain't gonna close. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh man. You got your one X player two in here. You got a Steam Deck. You got a controller. You got the charger. What else? Oh man. This thing can hold a light. I mean, it gets faster the more stuff you put in here, but I think you guys know that. Man, if I wanted to lay this across the top right here, does does that work too, my little my little anchor one? Almost every accessory besides all the cases that I have brought up in this video will fit in this thing. Granted, this thing is heavy now, but it's still not as big as that big boy we just reviewed and it fits the same amount of stuff, almost. I didn't put that little key, the little fight board in here, but I'm sure I could. This thing is gigantic. It's a beast. I mean, it's not a hard shell or nothing, but waterproof. The thumbsticks are pro well protected in here with the with those triangles. You guys know me, let me know who you are by commenting down below. And if there's any other accessories that I miss that's out designed for this or not that will make it work, let me know so I can check up on it. And I'm out. Roll the outro.